Very good morning to you. This is Ryan Littlestone from Forexflow.live. I'm going to follow up or continue to follow up on the pound versus the dollar as we've been having more fun and games in this pair last week. Um, now, last week I spoke to you about uh, the potential for this pair to pick up a bit of volatility as, as Brexit came to the fore again, and we certainly saw that. Um, taking a look at the uh, pound dollar daily chart again. Um, that first area I was looking at last week was that first blue zone you can see on the chart there, which is up around the, the low 130s, 129.80, that sort of area. And that was the level I was looking at as a potential support point. But as we saw last week, we had some big news regarding this internal market bill that Boris Johnson is pushing forward, um, which puts in a couple of clauses that potentially goes against um, international law, against the work, the withdrawal agreement with the EU, and that sent the pound tumbling lower because a lot of hoo-ha has been made of this. So we broke through that 130 support area, we came all the way down, and we hit another level that uh, we've had on the charts for quite a long time, that's around the 127.70 area. Um, now that's held up, give or take a, a few pips down to sort of 127.60, but it's become the support point at the moment. We couldn't get lower than that last week with all the bad news uh, coming in. So here we are this week with this internal market bill going through Parliament, it's, it's going through the various stages it needs to before it becomes law. Uh, today the debate starts this afternoon and then there's a vote on the, the first passing of this bill. Um, so it's going to be a lot of noise coming out of that today. In fact, all week long it's going to be noise because tomorrow and Wednesday that gets debated um, by committee hearings. Um, and then on Thursday we've got the Bank of England and we've got uh, discussion in Parliament about the job, UK job retention scheme which is potentially another wobble there for the pound, uh, depending on how it's going to pan out. But as I say, looking at the chart, we couldn't get below this 127.70.60 area, so it has become the main support point for now. Um, the upside is, is a bit more messy because it came down so quickly, we really haven't got a lot that's standing, in, standing out on the charts, uh, short-term charts at least, until at least we get up to that 130 level. So if we do see the, the price rising, we're going to have to see where the support comes, uh, sorry, where the resistance comes in, where the sellers are, are perhaps going to not let the price stray too far. So the upside from here is something we need to watch. The downside, though, gets very interesting. Um, we've got a hell of a lot of support points all the way down. As I say, we've got this 127.60 level, then we've got some larger fibs, uh, some longer term fibs, and some moving averages. And just to run off the list of, of what we've got on the way down, we've got uh, the 100 uh, weekly moving average at uh, 127.49. We've got the 200 uh, daily moving average, 127.36. Uh, the 55 weekly, 127.23. Uh, the 61.8 fib of the, the March swing at 127.21. The 100 DMA, 126.95. And in the 38.2 fib of the June swing, we've got at 126.91. So we're beginning to see a, a big pileup of uh, some longer term tech levels, uh, which are always worth taking a note of. Um, as you can see, most of those on the chart have marked uh, the area with a sort of second blue zone down there into that 127 area. Now, again, this is going to mark a, a possibly an important support zone. If we get through there, then we could have big trouble on our hands and, and a dip down to, you know, maybe 125s, 124s or even worse. Depends how all this turns out. Now, personally, my quick take on this is that we need to look through a lot of this noise. There's been a lot of fanfare from the UK, from the EU, that the UK is breaking international laws. This internal bill that's being pushed forward has not broken any laws as it stands now. Even if it passes, it will not break any laws. The only time a law will be broken or the withdrawal agreement will be broken is if a couple of clauses within this bill get enacted at a later date. So there's been a bit of a hoo-ha and a lot of press picking up on it and making the noise of it, but if we stick with what we know is the actual reality of this thing, it's not as bad as, as everyone's making out as of now. Something for the future maybe, but not right now. And that may factor into how we see the price move from here on in, because the market may start to pick up on that and think, well, actually it's not really as big a deal as, as we think. But as I say, a lot of noise this week again on the pound, so uh, keep your eyes peeled and I wish you all the best.